Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is December 21st, 2016, and this is our episode number 48. Today we're looking at a new Brazilian company that's been randomized, uh, and its name is CPFL Energy. CPFL uh, is a large holding company for energy, and it's got a long history and it's become basically a holding company and within energy it's diversified into distribution generation and one other thing to to be aware of there are two listed cpfls there is cpfl energia which is the one we're looking at today and there is cpfl renovaves meaning CPFL renewables. Uh, if we're to believe the name, it's focused on renewable energy. But today, uh, the company we, we, we drew randomly was CPFL Energy. So as always, uh, the first thing we want to look at, it's the debt over equity. If by any chance you haven't watched uh, any of our past episodes, um, I go at length about the importance of assessing the company's debt situation. And the way we do it is by debt over equity. So you take the company's total debt, short term, long term, uh, and you look at the company's net equity and divide one by the other. And there's a rule of thumb uh, giving us a desirable range or an acceptable range of debt over equity and that's from 0 to 0 0.5 if the debt over equity is negative that must mean the net equity is negative so the total things the company owns is negative so that's a pretty bad sign and if the co company's debt over equity is above 0 0.5 that means the company owes more than half of what it owns. So that means the company is too indebted. So in truth, none of those two situations should rule out uh, investing or speculating in a company by itself. Okay. Uh, if someone really knows what he or she is doing and has done a thorough analysis of the company, they may find, for example, the company has negative equity, but some uh, assets are severely underpriced in the assumptions. That may be a, a reason to, to buy the company or uh, if the debt is too high but the company is very high growth and the cost of this debt is actually low and the company is very likely to to grow a lot and, and easily pay off its debt in the future that could be another reason to still invest in this company so if you take to looking at uh investments ba made by by the greats you know the 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 historically successful investors you will actually frequently uh, see them especially investing in companies with debt over equity above 0 0.5 but uh, this is a, a super defensive way um, it's really linked to Ben Graham who's like the father of, of value investing if you want to call it that and he was known to be extremely defensive and also extremely successful. So that did not hurt him a bit. Uh, so if you want to start with this, you can expect uh, to minimize your chances of loss of your capital, to pass some opportunities and see some companies just explode in price and you will not participate in on that action if you do it like this but over time uh, 
you you should do just fine and actually should do very well okay so with that said let's take a look at CPFL's uh, debt situation so I see an investors link <clears throat> so results central and I see an ITR here 3T16 downloading here it is let's see okay so this ITR uh, is not in the standardized layout and it's got a column of notes here uh, for today we'll, we won't go to these notes but uh, if we're to invest in a company uh, we should definitely uh, read all the notes carefully and see what they're trying to say uh, notes can either be a sign of a company that's being super careful and explaining situations or a company that's being careful to disguise situations so uh, keep that in mind so here we have the liabilities and net equity so passivos liabilities patrimonio liquido net equity so we can start by looking at the net equity so this is a holding company, right? So you commonly see uh, Controladora, which is the, own, the holding company itself, and Consolidated, which includes uh, its, um, its uh, investee companies, right? Company, companies, the holding company owns. So we will see here uh, the net equity, 8,000. 34 8 billion 34 million excuse me and for the consolidated uh 10 4 5 3 so here you have a decision to make uh i'm sure there is a standard way of doing this but um you choose one right uh we can look at both here and look at the worst one and consider that one so for example, let me just open another row for CPFL Energy here. CPFL Energy, third quarter 16. Let me just do it with um, um, just only the holding company, right? So the, the net equity, 834. Open the calculator for the debt. So we can use, to begin, we can use the least draconian measurement of, of debt. So you, you will see uh, empréstimos e financiamento, that's loans. And debentures, that's like bond, uh, bond type uh, loans. Uh, so this is the least draconian, right? So you see here, there's really no debt to the controlling company and uh, this is important and at, at the same time uh, it doesn't give you much because when you have a holding company uh, the holding company should be extra careful in holding debt because usually you compound your debt with the company you owe, companies you own and their debts so say you are uh, Pepsi Cola, and you own Frito Lay. Uh, so Frito Lay has a debt over equity of one, and then if you have a debt over equity of one yourself, that compounds, right? So you owe money to to own a company that owes money. So usually the whole holding company should be even more conservative debt wise, and in this case, in, at least in terms of. Um, debt 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 
stated as such, the debt is zero. Okay, so that is good. Another measurement of debt, and we can go to the other extreme, is adding all liabilities. So you take the short-term liabilities, that's 24, rounding to the nearest, and you take the long-term liabilities, that's 64. So 64 plus 24, that's 88, compared to 8,000. So still, the holding company has no debt, right? Zero. Fantastic. So now, let's let's do the other one and see what it comes to so we can use 10 4 5 4 10 4 5 4 and then we look at uh, impressions for that so 1 4 3 5 1 4 3 5 and then bonds one two seven five and here you have in terms of loans eleven one oh seven plus in bonds five one oh six and uh, so st straight away you see eighteen nine two three eighteen nine two three So now it comes to 1.81, which is way above our 0 0.5. So here I'm just warning that it, this is a consolidado, which means consolidated among the companies they own. Right, and you, you come to 1.81. This is not a good number, and um, you see the net equity is fairly high. For Brazilian standards, it's, it's high. And so it's not so easy for them to say, wow, you know, the companies we own uh, owe a lot of money, so let's divest, let's change our investments. Also, they have a stated mission. Their name is CPFL Energy. So they're very unlikely to all of a sudden you know say wow energy is too leveraged let's invest in you know shoes so you cannot be too optimistic that cpfl is just going to invest in in less leveraged companies in the near future uh, therefore this company in terms of debt uh, is out of the cards for us so um, well great uh, this is how it happens uh, so far uh, as far as Brazilian companies I've looked at almost all of them by now I think I have 40 to go and or less and at the moment I have positions in three companies so out of 200 or 200 and almost 300 that who knows I own positions in three companies my my capital is very small but may, even if my capital was was larger uh, I would not be holding positions in more than five or six companies so that's how it goes. You have to turn a lot of stones, and but the opportunities do exist. Thank you very much. If you haven't watched any of the past episodes, please do. And I'll see you in the future episodes too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.